I'm on my way to Dunstanborough Castle on the Northumberland coast and it's really grey and gloomy behind me. I'm hoping that the clouds and the, the weather improves a lot. I'm at the end of the harbour jetty and Dunstanborough Castle behind me. It's magnificent in the distance with the waves crashing against the rocks. It looks fabulous. I'm going to take this picture here now and I'll put this up straight away. Let's show you what it looks like. With the tide right in, this rocks and rugged coastline are making for amazing shots. So I'm going to try my best to capture the, the waves on the rocks. The weatherman, or should I say, weather person, has let me down uh, today because he's just completely grey skies and blowing a gale. But I'm qu getting quite close to the Carlton now, so I'm just about to go in. But I'll show you what the inside looks like. I'm finally inside and I've got myself a sheltered spot for a second. I'm sure as soon as I walk out of the way of the walls, and I'll turn around to show you where I am, it will start getting very windy. But I'll try and find some photos and share those with you in a minute. I finally found a piece, bit of shelter and now that I'm inside the castle, I'll try to find some shots and, and show you what they look like. Much like most of the castles that were built in medieval times, Dunstanborough was built to keep out the Scots. Much like Hadrian built the wall to keep the Scots out, even long after the Romans had left, that the English would still try to keep the Scots at bay. This view of the main building with the sea in the background and the orange sky looks quite nice. I'll try to get a shot of this, maybe zoom in using my 40mm uh, lens. I've come down to the other side of the car field to try to get that creature there. Uh, the the way I'm right close to the waves. It's just a, it's a lovely scene, but hopefully I can draw out some of that sky in this picture. I'll take this down and I'll show you what this looks like. Not really the conditions to go for camera settings, but generally I've gone for f8 and I spoke 200, and my shutter speed varies according to the the frame. I hope you've enjoyed this short video of Dunster Castle and if you did I'd be pleased if you'd give the video a like, it's really really helpful. And if you like my other video, Bambra Castle etc, then I'd really be extremely pleased if you would subscribe to the channel. Everyone helps, so the more I get the more it helps. Thank you very much indeed and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.